Hello there everyone, it's me again, the twice in month upload general here, finally making another video on this FIFA game called Hearts of Iron 4, now with the new DLC, I got an uh, early access to this DLC from Paradox so big thanks goes to them, and yeah I don't really want to be prolonging this intro, but I do want to apologize for the lack of uploads on the channel, my ass cheeks and free time is being spread by university pretty hard. Art, and I can't really do much about it so if you are still watching and subscribe thank you very much and if you are new here and enjoy this shit show don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so I will one day make Slovak mega campaign for um, 100,000 subscribers it will be here probably in the summer also if I can I will try to stream some hearts of iron on my youtube channel but I don't really know how that will turn out so I don't really want to promote is anything. So in the new DLC by Blood alone, finally Italy received its Focus 3, also Ethiopia, but today we will be looking at Switzerland, because they got Focus 3 as well. So one thing I'm going to tell you is that more than I play Hearts of Iron 4, the worse I am at it. So today we will have a little chill game with the democratic neutral pacifist Switzerland, but that doesn't mean that we will not have some fun in here. So first things first we will go for the Swiss guiding principles. Also thing about Switzerland is that we have our own custom conscription law called Swiss citizen militias and that basically gives us 10% recruitable population but we cannot train regular forces outside of citizen militias so yeah we will try to also change that when we can. And our first focus unlock this little tab called balance of power and what we need to do is to you know get it a little bit to the left here and also we need to reduce our democratic support for the focuses we want to really do here you will see in a minute but first things first national defense fund we need that piggy bank because we are swiss also i see that the italians have a lot of fun in ethiopia uh, i hope both sides will have a lot of fun also we'll be getting a lot of these events about the elections of the president of the Swiss Confederation so I choose Mr. Albert Mayer here and he disappeared from our council here and that means that we have to really quickly replace him with someone else which will be Hans Oprecht because we still want to get the democratic support down and also the fascist support down so we will boost the communists so we can do a lot more focuses down the road and some Nazi guy got killed in Switzerland, but I don't really want to deal with all the events in the trial shit, so we will just do the second thing and be done with that. I love the Swiss justice. National defense fund done, we will ratify the spiritual defense. Yes, nobody will pass these mountains here. Now we will anger the Italians a little and fortify board with them so we can move along. Sorry Italians, but not sorry, we don't want your spaghetti here. Now let's burn the foreign Nazi propaganda, it will decrease the gain of the popularity of the fascist party, so we will be safe. Ok, I also made a little mistake here by uh, getting the democratic support too low to do this focus. So yeah, in the meantime we will increase the defense budget until I fix this situation. So after solving our little situation with the democratic support here we can do the allied gold. Alright, allied gold complete, now it's just a rush to get Austria before the Germans can get it. So yeah, I'm just saying that this is a little race for who gets Austria first, Switzerland or Germany? Nobody knows. Now to properly Anschluss Austria we need to bring down the democratic support for our party, but good thing is that when Austrians have Swiss democratic propaganda, they can't be Anschlussed by the Germans, so we have some uh, little time to figure out our own country here and yeah we just got an Austrian land here but you know me I want the whole country and yeah after some shenanigans we will preemptively Anschluss the Austrians here and here we go before the Germans could and we have gained all the Austrian troops so that's really good because we can't train or change templates of our division so our army is kind 
kinda useless, not gonna lie. But you know, I would really appreciate if we inherited uh, some Austrian generals. I really do like that one guy who always is promoted to the field marshal. But anyway. Switzerland just got bigger and we have all Austrian states as cores, so manpower is looking pretty good. Now my first act as Greater Switzerland, I will find Liechtenstein, because Liechtenstein never before existed, it's a Swiss invention. Now our main objective here is to make this land the most defensible land possible and not even go to war. It's really bad that we can't really train new divisions, so I'm just trying to improve our citizen militia here and hopefully it will go well it would be nice if I could also add some support companies but huh, who cares also what we will do is to open banks to democratic nation and that is United Kingdom and they refused well their loss and for my next act here is to broaden up our defense so we can be undefeatable also one thing is that Germans have Führer Adolf, but Switzerland has Adolf Führer as infantry specialist here. We will be undefeatable. You know, I really love my focus tree here with the militia. Now we will recruit women. That gives us 25% recruitable population factor. So yeah, you want equal rights? You will also have to die for this country. That will be how it works. Oh no, this is the worst world development since war. World War 1, what we will even do here? Well, fear not my friends, we will create the neutral entente to prevent anyone from touching Switzerland or neutral countries. Our new faction was successfully created and we can invite a lot of countries, we will only invite those that won't be attacked by the Germans of course. Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Cuba, Colombia, Haiti, Portugal, Turkey, Sweden, Ireland, come here, oh yeah, joins the, joins the, joins the, joins the, and so on. So we will see who really joined our neutral pact. A lot of countries, I have to say, we have a strong representation in Central and South America and also Sweden joined, so that's very nice. Also, I have to say that we have a pretty open focus tree because we can fortify a border with Germany and it will add two forts in every neighboring province with Germany and I have already built level 4 forts all over our German border, so yeah, we will get nice thick fortification. and. Now that we have bolstered our northern border with the Germans, we can build even more forts. Because why the hell not? There is never enough forts in our land. So yeah, I can confidently say that we are Fort Switzerland here. Yeah, nobody will pass through all of these forts. Feels good, man. Feels good. Also, we will prolong the military service here, but then we will also move to do this set of focuses but we will have to, well, shift all of our balance back to the right. Ah, these new features are gonna kill me. And finally, after a long time, the British finally opened banks here, so Swiss gold market is booming. And due to our neutrality, we will play both sides and also get Axis gold, because only the British isn't enough. Now, theoretically, it is possible to invite United States of America into our faction, but I do not want to be dragged into a Pacific war that I have no interest in. What I'm personally interested in the most is getting some of that good old gold, but they will eventually give us, you will see. Also we can seek to increase the trade with the British, they also disagreed, but one day they will trade with the Switzerland. Now let's get back to making our militia even better. And you see eventually they have increased the trade with us. That's only good because Swiss gold market is going nuts. So let's go, I'm a true gold digger here. We get even more gold. 
and we will be are outsourcing it from Germans and the United Kingdom. This is the best scam ever. This is just too ridiculous. Even more gold. Oh shit, and Vichy France just died to the Germans. But it doesn't really matter because we will still seek to increase the trade before um, my country implodes here. Yeah, I didn't really had enough political power to switch to other advisors, so this shadowy figure is here to fuck some shit up. Oh no, the Italians are dying here. Don't care, I'm just making my spider railway all over my great nation of Super Switzerland. Oh and look at this, the Italians have switched sides to the good guy team with Victor Emmanuel III in charge. And also Iraq was just invaded by the Brits, but nobody cares about that. Also as you can see, the Germany is losing pretty quickly, it's only 1943. This just shows you how much they needed that Austria. Yeah, this is only because of us. And yeah, I can tick this off my bingo card, Italians in Norway. And finally, after like forever I can do all adults training. That will increase our record ever population by 10% so yeah we will definitely need it to defend our lands. Oh yeah this is definitely one of the quickest deaths of Germany I have ever seen pulled by the AI. The Yugoslavians will be soon in Berlin. This is the greatest Berlin race ever. And yes the Yugoslavians captured the Berlin. And I'm quite scared to really look at this peace treaty because a lot of things were liberated, annexed, puppeted. So let's just see the map and uh, the German Reich still exists. West Germany, East Germany and even more Eastern Germany. Also Poland has Gdańsk and there's another Poland. Greater Socialist Bulgaria was born and Soviet Albania. And Africa isn't looking that bad as I thought. Uh, but the Middle East, that's, that's something different. Kurdistan, Soviet Iraq and American Iraq. I'm sure they will be all getting along very nicely. We are indeed living in very strange times. Okay, so we just lost one Poland, but um, I don't know how I feel about this German right. They are just going to, you know, commit a suicide by attacking Czechoslovakia so I'm all for it. Also hold on this is a new event because I suppose I have never seen it before and few countries just leave the allies so yeah good for them it would be nice if they joined you know the neutral entente and oh yeah Turkey just declared war on Iran and a third world war was born this is the fight I have been waiting for American Iraq versus the Soviet Iraq also now the world is just waiting for the move of one man. He is also justifying on Poland, you can't make this shit up. So I'm buying some steel and I just noticed the kingdom of Hungary with a communist flag. Monarcho communism is real. You know, world is constantly on fire, but this isn't our final form. Well, if everything goes smoothly, we can demand Italian Alps. I mean, I'm really curious if they will give it to us, but I really doubt they will. They have less divisions than us, but but still, this will be very unlikely. Well, this wasn't a surprise really, but we can also try with the Frenchies. And France said no, ah, what a shame, but we won't go to war. Even if we went, well, we are Fort Switzerland and nobody would get in alive. So basically I was just waiting for this war to end so I can see what horrors. It's not that bad after all. Like the Russia isn't balkanized, Poland looks pretty decent but uh, one specific guy is still here in the middle of the Europe. But anyway, this is the peak Switzerland you will ever see because we have full infrastructure, air defenses, airfields, radar stations, forts and I'm most proud of my railway spider. And also not to forget my good friends from Neutral Entente. Yes, this is the best faction in the world. And yeah, the Swiss Focus Tree is, well, a thing you have to learn to navigate through. Also, you have to be careful with balance of power and party popularities, but I have enjoyed this sitting around, but 
A thing I don't really like is that uh, you can't really design your own division or edit any template you have here. So that's a big minus for Switzerland. But other than that, we were able to recruit 32% of our population. And yeah, that's a fuck ton of people. Our army is 2 million strong. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to not miss any other uploads that will be probably twice a month and maybe once a month but thank you for the support and uh, if you made it this far thank you for watching and as always big thanks goes to my channel members their names are in the description and on the screen right now and a special thanks goes to Razonon for being the highest channel member <laughs>